People, this is Muhammad with the Muhammad Minute. Now, a lot of people that comfort be their downfall. You know, a lot of people would rather just be comfortable, sit in the same place, stay with the same people, you know, say the same thing for years and years and years and expect different results. Now, if you want to change your life, you got to change what you do from day to day. That means if you wake up a little bit late, that means your attitude throughout the day will be lax. If you are on time, no matter what, your attitude throughout the day will be discipline. Now, the five daily prayers for a Muslim help establish time. You know, it establishes some groundwork to the structure of your day-to-day -day life. Now, these small actions create big results. You have to work towards these actions every day. The most difficult part is to commit to these actions. It takes 90 days to build a habit. That means you have to do something for 90 days. That means you have to wake up early for 90 days. That means you have to control what you eat for 90 days. That means you have to control your gaze for 90 days. You know what I'm saying? Gaze as in your eyes. You know, you have to control where you're looking. If you want a better life, I suggest you start taking cold showers for 90 days. Only after 90 days, you'll see the positive results. Before that, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to act like a little girl. Not to say a little girl is any weaker than you. Actually, little girls are stronger than you. You're going to act like a weak version of yourself. You're going to act like a little pacifist. Yeah, that's a, that's a better word. You're going to act like a little pacifist. To be a go-getter in life, you cannot be a pacifist. You have to address things directly. That means your day-to-day -day life needs to be structured in such a way that it builds confidence you know small actions over time they build confidence right so small successes they bring on big victories the war is won through small battles right so you have to command you have to take command you have to be a general you have to assort whatever your strengths are concentrate your forces around your strengths right so your strength is going to take you somewhere you can't even imagine the problem is you don't have confidence in your strength you have more confidence in your weakness this causes you to be stuck in a loop you know because you're so focused on your weaknesses you think they're good enough but they're not your strengths are what makes you you know that's what people don't address about you basically so if you don't people aren't addressing the fact that you are really talented in one specific field it's because of the fact that those are your strengths. They think that you already know your strengths. If anything, if people compliment you on XYZ, it's probably because they're making a side remark on your abilities. So you shouldn't take compliments to heart, but you should always acknowledge what you're good at in life. And once you acknowledge these things, you can bring yourself up to the next level because your skills or your skill set is like a funnel. At the end of the day, you have to establish all of your energy at a certain point. That way, the force will take you to higher plateaus in life. Muhammad Minute.